my name is Paul Ang. Today's webinar will be Firewall and its Applications Part 1. In today's agenda, the topics that we are going to look at are Firewall Basics, what a firewall is and why we need it, Graytech Firewall Facilities, Stateful Packet Inspection, IP Default Filters, Denial of Service Defense, General Setup and Default Rule of Graytech Routers, Firewall Diagnostic, we will now start by looking at Firewall Basics. What is a firewall and why do we need it? A firewall is a network security system that monitors and controls the incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. Firewalls are often categorized as either network firewalls or host-based firewalls. So what is a network firewall? Network firewalls are software appliances running on a general-purpose hardware or hardware-based firewall computers. Here you can see Draytech routers that have firewall capabilities. Figure 2862, 2952, 2926, and as well as others. These are examples of network firewalls. Now, what is host-based firewall? Host-based firewalls provide a layer of software on one host that controls traffic in and out of a single machine. Our example here is a Windows firewall running in a Windows operating system. Firewalls provide security. It can permit and deny traffic based on IP addresses, protocol, and ports. As you can see here, a computer that belongs to the local area network can easily access the internet because they were granted permission to do so, whereas an attacker wants to access a server through Windows Remote Desktop cannot go through because they have been blocked by the firewall. Firewall provides security over a number of online threats such as remote login, Trojan backdoors, session hijacking, DOS DDoS attacks, viruses, and cookie stealing, and among others. Now that we know the basics of firewalls, we will now look into Dretech firewall facilities. One of the firewall features that Raytek routers have is stateful packet inspection. To be able to understand what is a stateful firewall, we will compare stateless and stateful firewalls. Stateless firewalls are firewalls that can make filter decisions based only on source destination IP addresses, protocol, and ports, while stateful firewalls are firewalls that associate a packet to a state and can make decision based on source destination IP addresses, protocol and ports, and state of the packet. This scenario is a stateless firewall. A laptop is going to connect to the server using a telnet protocol. When the request reaches the firewall, the firewall will look into the source destination IP addresses, protocol and ports, and then it will make its decision whether to pass or block immediately. Firewall read policy sequentially, so it will read the first rule and then the second rule and so on. The packet matches the second rule and the action is to pass immediately. Then the server will respond to the laptop's request and again the firewall will look into the source destination IP addresses, protocol, and ports. The firewall will read again the rules sequentially and look for a match. The second rule matches the packet and the action is passed immediately. Now the telnet session is being established. This is how stateless firewall operates. Now we will look into the Draytech router stateful firewall feature. This scenario is still the same as before, but this time we are using Draytech router which is a stateful firewall. It will create a state table that will record the state of the packets passing through the firewall. In this example, we will use the TCP three-way handshake process. When the laptop wants to connect to the server using Telnet protocol, it will send a TCP flag SYN to the server. But before arriving to the server, it will pass first to the Draytech router. The Draytech router will then record 
the TCP flag in its state table and also look into the firewall policy. When the request reaches the server, the server will reply with the TCP flag seen and act. The Draytrick router again records the TCP flag to its state table. Then lastly, the laptop will reply with the TCP flag act. After the TCP three-way process is done, a telnet session is now established between the laptop and the server. But what if the server sends a TCP flag seen and act first? What will be the decision of the Draytech router? Because the Draytech router is a stateful firewall, it will refer to the state table if it receives a TCP flag SYN. According to the state table, there was no TCP SYN, so the Draytech router will drop the packet. The next topic that we will cover is IP default filters. Raytech router can filter the packets based on the information in their IP headers, such as source IP, destination IP, protocol, and port number. With IP filter, network administrator can easily pass or block a packet that destined to a specific IP or source. Default call and data filters are default rules that block that bias based on source destination IP addresses, protocol, and port numbers from LAN, router, VPN going to WAN. Before we go deeper into IP default filters, we will first take a look at NetBIOS. What is a NetBIOS and why we need to block it? NetBIOS is a transport protocol that Microsoft Windows system used to share resources. It runs over TCP UDP ports 137 to 139, for example. If a PC running Windows wants to connect and to access a share on a file server, it probably uses NetBIOS. NetBIOS is a popular target for attackers. If an attacker discover an active port 139 on a device, he can run nbtstat command from Windows. nbtstat command can obtain some of all the following informations. Computer name content of the remote name cache, including IP addresses, a list of local NetBIOS names, a list of names resolved by broadcast or via WINS, content of the session table with destination IP addresses. In this slide, you can see the nbtstat command can obtain a lot of information about your network. With this information, the attacker has information about the OS, services, and major applications running on the system. That is why Draytech routers block NetBIOS by default. Now we will go back to IP default filters that blocks NetBIOS protocol. The following illustrations are flowcharts explaining how the router will behave for incoming traffic and outgoing traffic respectively. When there is no existing internet connection, call filter is applied to all traffic, all of which be outgoing. It will check packets according to the filter rules. If legal, the packet will pass. Then the router shall initiate a call to build the internet connection and send the packet to the internet. In this example, we are using PPPoE protocol. In a network diagram scenario, we will be using a Vigor 2925 router as a firewall. The X mark represents no existing internet connection. The WAN connection will come up on demand that is when permitted outgoing traffic exists. When one of the computers in the LAN sends a NetBIOS traffic going out to the WAN, the call filter is applied to all traffic. When the NetBIOS traffic reaches the firewall, it will immediately stop the packet. But when a legal traffic like PPPoE protocol coming from the router, the call filter will pass the traffic to initiate internet connection. When there is an existing internet connection, data filter is applied to incoming and outgoing traffic. It will check packets according to the filter rules. If illegal, the packet will be dropped by the router. If legal, the packet will pass. In a network diagram scenario, 
we will be using again a bigger 2925 router as a firewall. The internet connection is already established. When one of the computers in the LAN sends NetBIOS traffic out to the WAN, the data filter is applied to all traffic, and it will stop the packet. But when a legal traffic like HTTP protocol coming from one of the computers in the LAN, the data filter will pass the packets. In this illustration, the traffic is coming from LAN and going out to LAN. Data filter is applied. It will check packets according to the filter rule. If illegal, the packet will be dropped by the router. And if legal, the packet will pass the router. In a network diagram scenario, we added a server for the LAN. In this diagram, one of the computers sends NetBIOS traffic. Data filter is applied, and it will stop the packet. While legal traffic, like Telnet protocol, will be allowed to pass and access the server. Another firewall application is denial of service defense. The DOS defense functionality helps you to detect and mitigate the DOS attack. This function enables the bigger router to inspect every incoming packet based on the attack signature database. Any malicious packet that might duplicate itself to paralyze the host in the secure LAN will be strictly blocked and a syslog message will be sent as warning if you set up a syslog server. Also, the bigger router monitors the traffic. Any abnormal traffic flow violating the predefined parameter, such as the number of thresholds, is identified as an attack, and the bigger router will activate its defense mechanism to mitigate in a real-time manner. The attacks are normally categorized into two types, the flooding type attacks and the vulnerability attacks. Flooding type attacks, it will attempt to exhaust all your system's resources Example, ICMP flood attack and as well as others. Vulnerability attacks, it will try to paralyze the system by offending the vulnerabilities of the protocol or operation system, example, port scan attack and as well as others. This is the DOS defense setup page in the Vigor 2860 router. Greatech routers provide a straightforward configuration page where we can easily enable and select the DOS attacks that are supported by the router. We can also click the Select All button to avoid the hassle from selecting all the types of DOS attacks. Now we will see General Setup and Default Rule. In General Setup page, we can adjust the settings of IP filter and common options. Here we can enable and disable the call filter and data filter. We can also select the start filter for the firewall rules. Accept large incoming fragmented UDP or ICMP packets used in games and streaming. Instinctively, as a secure firewall, Raytech routers will reject these fragmented packets to prevent attack unless we enable it. By default, Enable Strict Security Firewall is selected. If the firewall detected that the Content Filter Server or the Siren, a third-party service, does not make any response, pass or block the packet, then the Draytech Router will block it directly. We also need to take note of the Packet Filter Sequence of the Router. It will read first the data filter set and rules, block routing packets from WAN and default rule. Now we are going to look into default rule. In this page, you can select filter profiles including QoS, user management, app enforcement, web content filter, DNS filter, and URL content filter for data transmission by a Vigor router. We will go deep into each profile in part 2 of this webinar series. 
Lastly, we will look at the new added feature in Raytech Router, Firewall Diagnostic. By the way, this new feature is supported on firmer version 3.8.5.1 and the latest version. This feature is very useful, especially for network engineers who want to know what filter rule is used by the Draytech router. So it has the option to select which protocol to use for diagnostics. We can verify the filter rule by using ICMP, UDP, and TCP. The direction of the packet can also be set from LAN or from WAN. And then lastly, we can specify the source IP, source MAC address, and then the destination IP address. In this example, we selected ICMP as our protocol, and the direction of the ICMP will be from LAN going to the internet, and we also specify the source IP address and destination IP address as Google DNS. Now the result. ICMP matched the default rule, which has a filter action of pass, and WAN1 is the interface used by the ICMP to reach the Google DNS server. Because in this example, we did not create any filter rule, thus ICMP from 192.168.1.10 going to Google DNS only matches the default rule. This is the end of our presentation. For more information, please visit our website at www.traytech.com.au or you may email us on sales at raytech.com.au Today, I have given you a brief overview of firewall applications for Raytech routers, and this includes Firewall Basics, what is a firewall and why we need it, Raytech Firewall Facilities, State Tool Packet Inspection, Default IP Filters, Denial of Service Defense, General Setup, Default Rule, and firewall diagnostic. Thanks for taking part in our presentation, and we hope to catch up with you in our next webinar in the coming weeks. Thank you, and bye for now.